Now there's one rule of technical analysis that not many people have heard about or use or even realize that it exists, but it's one of the number one rules that you must know about if you want to be successful using technical analysis. And in this video, I'll take a look at that rule and explain it further. Hello, I'm Stephen Ho, trader and founder of The Stop Hunter. Before we carry on, if you like the content the Stop Hunter is providing, please hit the thumbs up button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell buttons to get further notification of content such as this because it all helps me build out the channel. Now, on with the video. We first of all have to define the problem before I can actually give you the rule because it's going to make it a lot more easier to understand. So two stages, one define the problem and then we're going to get on with understanding what the rule is. So let's define the problem firstly then and it's one that I see time and time again in the world of technical analysis when I'm teaching it or reviewing maybe more um, novice traders. When they get the charts in their hands what they try and do is add on so many indicators searching for that holy grail strategy in the charts that they actually end up creating a complete mess and in the process it damages the psychology of your trading you talk yourself in or out of the trades because you don't actually know what indicators you're following and basically in the short and the longer term you're just gonna lose money and get nowhere and here's an example, you know, with trends, patterns, indicators, the whole lot. It's just too much. You don't need that many indicators on a chart. It, like I say, it'll just confuse you, it'll nullify you, it's the paralysis of analysis, you'll get nowhere. Now, firstly, I always start with a reminder to myself, which is keep it simple, Stephen. And what I've seen is the best technical analysis strategies are often built off the most simplest ideas. So what to use then? Well it could come down to personal preference, experience, trial and error. I think I've gone through most indicators and tools before I settled on what I use now and that can take some time to go through and it might be down to the markets you want to trade, and the time frames you want to trade and trading goals but still that's quite a vague um, approach. We need something more specific so rules then, we want obviously to enhance the power of our charts the best we can. So we know we're sport for choice and the tools, but we've got to be really careful in construction. And a key rule of technical analysis is this one called collinearity. The rule of collinearity simply states that you should avoid multi-collinearity amid indicators, i.e. the multiple counting of the same information. And we're looking for uh, tools, indicators that come from different sources but give us the same signals. And that's where we get the strength from. If you put them all from the same input, like the RSI MACD, for example, then you're only fooling yourself. And you know basically the signals you're getting are really just repetitive of the same thing. So you're not really learning much and you're probably you know, destroying your strategy by doing so. But still, how do we know what indicators work best and what should you use? So using that rule of collinearity, we are looking for a lot of independent supporting evidence from within our charts to help confirm our opinion. And more that these align, then the more confident we can be in our original trading signal and it's about putting the odds of winning the probability on your side and I've constructed a table that you can use as a guideline of support to putting indicators together. Now I've sorted this table into five different headings and they all create independent variable sources of information around some of the tools you can use. So. I've created a trend column, a momentum column, volume, volatility and sentiment. And if you want to put combinations together, pick maybe say one from the trend column, one from the volume, 
you know, one from the sentiment and make that your strategy. But don't pick two from the trend and just leave it at that because that would be breaking the rule of collinearity. So use this table as your guide. Like I said, you know, there's no fixed rule on how, you know, whether you can take one from each of them, five, and put them into a strategy or just, you know, two of them. It's up to you. And you have to test it and see whether that works. But it breaks out the indicators you could use into different buckets to avoid you, you know, co-counting the, the same sort of information. There you go, the rule of collinearity, crucial for success in technical analysis. Please, please uh, use it and follow that rule. You'll find your trading results, your strategies, your ideas are more successful. Now, if you want to learn more about technical analysis and you want to dig in deeper, in the description below, I've got a link to a lot of uh, online e-learning courses I produce around this subject. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below about any rules that you like to use, you find crucial in using technical analysis. So if you like today's video, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell buttons to receive further notification of content that I'm going to produce just like this. So all that's left for me to say is thanks for watching, good luck with the trading and I'll see you in the next video.